Hello, everyone, and welcome to another exciting episode of the Power Platform Moose podcast. We're here. I'm Nick Dolman. I'm here with Lilica Krivek. Yes. Yes, you are. Okay. And we're here together again. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing a conference tour. <laughs> Around the world. First Copenhagen and now Las Vegas. Yeah. Perfect. Yep. And we're here at the Microsoft Power Platform Conference. And this is huge compared to Nordic Summit. Yeah, so like, Nordic Summit was 400 people, and this is about 8,000, I think. Six to 8,000. Yeah. Um, That's huge. And, you know, MGM Grand here in Las Vegas is pretty big. Uh, and there's uh, so, and getting from one place to another is about 20 minute walk to get from the hotel area to the conference area. So that will tell you a little bit about the size of this venue. Yeah, it's it's massive. And then we already set up earlier. And then, I, as always, a band decided to set up beside us <laughs> and a choir. So you can kind of hear a little bit still in the background. Hopefully that won't, well, it adds some nice ambience, I guess. Yes, yes. yes. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Perfect. Okay, so it's end of day one. Um, the conference started actually on Sunday yep. with workshops. So there have been workshops Sunday, Monday, and then today, Tuesday, is so the first conference day. Kicked off with a keynote at 9 o'clock this morning with Charles Samana. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what did you think? So there was, <laughs> uh, apparently there's this thing called co-pilots that we should get all excited about. <laughs> And I think I think a lot of people are feeling, um, you know, not want, not want to sound negative, but probably a little bit of copilot fatigue with all the Microsoft announcements. It just seems to be this is oh copilot this copilot that, and don't get me wrong, the, the copilots are extremely valuable to the power platform. It's definitely going to help us out. It's going to make us you know do things a lot more efficient efficiently. However, I think it's still it is early days, and I also think it's a we're a little bit of I think you used the word copilot fatigue. Mm. Um, so there was a, a bit of that, you know, people, there were some exciting announcements, um, but some of the stuff we'd already seen with power pages and power apps, although they did show a lot with the power automate, um, yeah. and the, the new, the new interface for power automate is pretty cool. Yeah. And then the panel, the, the um, properties panel. So mm-hmm. when you create your power automate, you will have, uh, you'll be able to zoom in and out. You'll be able to, to collapse and expand the different parts of your app. I'm oh, sorry, your flow, so that it's easier to get an overview. And the, the panel, when you um, configure the different actions or the different triggers, you'll be, have a much better experience yeah. when you go through doing that. And you've seen that before. It's not new. Uh, as of this conference, I've seen that before as well but it is it's nice to have some of those bigger announcements yeah i think yeah the fact that i think the announcement today was now it's ga right. it's no longer preview and we saw a lot of that today as well um because they have teased that it was going to be a big announcement related mm-hmm. to this event but then i expected it to be more of a oh no it's not new new it's just that it's ga that's the announcement the we've movie. talked about this on the blog, yes. podcast before as well but you know i i want to see brand new functionality that's what i want to see and, and you and I, we've seen the Power Pages stuff before. I'm not sure that all of the audiences have seen that before. Correct. So we... going in and giving Copilot a, um, a URL, Copilot goes to that URL, scrapes that website for colors, and creates a theme for you, so you don't have to do anything. It just grabs the color, and you can create a theme based on that, and the Power Pages site will look, or will have those colors as a theme. That's It's not perfect, but you'll have a, a, a somewhere to start. Yeah. So that we didn't see it. And the process mining, the process mm-hmm. automation mining. What do you think about that? That was pretty cool too, because I could see that. That's almost like your co-pilot consultant coming in and evaluating and just trying to take a look at just your, your whole workflow and then try to find some efficiencies there. And if it, what did it give a suggestion to create a Power Automate flow plus a, another Power App to kind of help you with your, your work and your, your data manipulation and everything like that. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. And then it was a break. Uh, and then we got back into the same, the, the big garden area yeah. where all the kinos were. Uh, and we saw a demo from um, from GitHub, actually. Yes. And that was pretty amazing. So a guy comes up on stage, has about, I don't know, 40 minutes or something for his presentation. He's all calm and collected. And he says, OK, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to create a, a snakes game like you have on the Nokia phone back in the day, right? Yep. Um, and he has plenty of time. It doesn't rush it. No, I'm going to create it from scratch. You're going to see it. Yeah, that first bit. Takes time to go through his presentation and everything. And then I'm starting to look at my watch, you know, like, OK, dude, you don't have a lot of time left. How are you going to get that snake yep. game up and running? Oh, yes, that's co-pilot for sure. That oh, is- that's 
so cool to watch. And the, and, the, and that's that sort of shows the future of maybe the co-pilots and power platform because the GitHub co-pilot, it's now been around since for about a almost a year probably or maybe even no, longer. No more, 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 more. Yeah, and it, it is mature in the sense of he's just asking questions and it's generating JavaScript and CSS and HTML. And in a matter of minutes, he has this snake, you know, the old snake game on the screen. And he's like, oh, I want to add the, the phone buttons like we used to have. And I want to make it look like the phone buttons. And just keeps asking the questions. And, oh, you know, and co-pilot's apologizing. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It was like he was having a conversation with a, a colleague or a, a developer sitting beside him. And he said, oh, but did the, uh, so he asked the, the co-pilot to, to brand this at, like, the Nokia phone. And then they said, oh, what about the buttons? Question mark. To, and Cobalt said, oh, I'm sorry, of course, this is the CSS you need. Of course, the buttons. So it's like a real conversation. That was really good to see. Yeah, and he, and he had, like, he had the app up and running, and he threw, and he actually, and he not only had it up and running, he um, did a pull request in GitHub directly, so we can download that code yeah. and take a look at it ourselves. It. Yeah. Public repo, done. Yeah. Yes. But what, what I found interesting about that too, he, you know, as he was going through that, he did make adjustments to CSS and some of the HTML. So again, it sort of goes to show that you need to know what it is that you're doing or need to know how these pieces fit together so you can make those micro adjustments after Copilot's done its thing. Yes, but at the same time, if you looked at what the answers he got, it was it had detailed description about, you know, where do you put it hmm. and how do you do that? So one of the th times when he asked something, Copilot gave him three different code snippets and in between the code snippets, it was detailed description. Okay, this goes here, and this goes here, and this is at the bottom, and that is because. So actually teaching him to code as they went along with it. And that's really what I really enjoyed to see. Yeah. And uh, and then and then along with that too, you know, with the, the descriptions, um, what I also found interesting, because we also saw that in the Power Automate demo, is what does this do? Mm -hmm. And like the copilot, what does this flow do? And then even in this, like, what does this piece of code do? And then it would explain it. So I guess from a learning aspect, you could take some code that someone else has written, like maybe a developer that's gone off and retired or whatever, and say, like, figure this out. Mm -hmm. And and then, you know, go go from there. Yeah. And then he had a mistake in, at the far top of the script. There was a JavaScript. And you just right-clicked on it and asked Copilot to fix it. That was a choice. Yeah. And then, you know, it's always that comma or that semicolon that you forget that you spent hours and hours and hours finding and the goal that fixed it for you. Yeah. So, yeah, really great stuff. And yes, now we're all high on co right? It's yeah. great. Um, but we went to other sessions as well. Uh, the first session that I went to was um, Vlad Kulinesky. No, no. <laughs> Sorry, Vlad. Yeah. Uh, I have a hard time pronouncing your last name. Vlad Katrinesko. Yeah, right. sounds right. Yep. Um, and the reason that I went to his session, that was about creating your first power automated global flow in under 25 minutes. But the reason I'm going to see Vlad is because he's so much fun. I just love the way he's presenting. He's so calm and collected and just such a great guy through and through. It makes the audience laugh. We had so much fun. And I also learned a few things. So that was really neat and a good presentation, really going through and building that approval or automate flow from scratch from start to finish, you have a trigger or something happens in a SharePoint list, uh, you check whether you start the um, approval uh, action with wait until someone replies, see if it's uh, accepted or rejected, and then you send an email either way. And and as he was saying going forward, you know, don't do the rec don't go into recruiter mode, please add also uh, send an email if something is rejected as well. Because often we will go happy path all the way yep. and we forget about the negatives. So that, that was a really good reminder. Cool. Yeah, and the session I went to is like it's funny, we, we talked about this this morning about going to sessions of you know, try to learn new things. And then for some reason, I still ended up in the Power Pages session, but it was more kind of <laughs> accidental because of course, I, you know, having just left Microsoft a couple of weeks ago, I'm meeting some of the product team in person for the first, some of these folks I, I've worked with for the last two years, but it's the first time I met them in person. So this session, like the product, like most of the product team was actually there. It was, um, D Deleep and Tanmay, they were doing a presentation on, and then the big, the big announcement there was, They've rebuilt some of those old Dynamics 365 templates. They're rolling out now. They're going to be editable in the new design studio. They're using all the modern things, using like the new modern web templates as components. 
Um, so that's what their session was about. So that's how I kind of ended up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Will that be using the Start 5 and Enhanced Data Model? Uh, probably, I think so. Of course it would, because it's yes. the new stuff, yep. Of which course. is, yeah, which is, is, is actually G8 as of today, the Enhanced Data Model. Yeah. Um, and the reason I learned that is because you told me that <laughs> earlier, because I did a session on Power Pages and Power, or Power Platform Pipelines and how to move Power Pages, ALM, you know, dev test production using pipelines. Um, and I know that Enhanced Data Model is in preview still. But then you said during my presentation, no, 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 it's GA today. So that was a nice yeah. person to be able to make that announcement. And of course, um, Managed Environments also was preview, but that's also out of preview as of now. So then you could just, you know, Follow the 10 steps that I uh, have in my blog post that I did the presentation on today, and you'll be able to move power pages through environments using pipelines. And, really cool. and actually, and your presentation was amazing. Like, oh, you're you. right on time, you hit all the high points. And in terms of number of people, was this probably one of the biggest crowds you've had, do you think? Mm -hmm. I don't know, um, about 400 or so people added it on their schedule, so that's what I can see, but I don't know the real numbers, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, maybe. Yeah, well, you did you did absolutely awesome. Thank you, appreciate that. And uh, yeah, did you go to any other sessions after? No, so this is the thing with this size of conference and, and all the walking we need to do, I went to go get the podcast equipment and I wanted to race back because there's some sessions I want, like a session I wanted to see. And then sure enough, I ran into our friend Steve Mordu and uh, hey, Steve, shout out to you. And we were talking about his uh, his blog series that we talked about, you know, in the last episode about, you know, Sally and HR has a business problem. Um, he talked a little bit about that subscription model he's working on. Um, if you're not a follow Steve stuff. Um, yeah. So it wasn't really part of the, the, the conference, but Steve's here. Yeah. <laughs> Plus a whole bunch of other people. And there's so many other things going on. So, you know, the... the the fact that there's a band and a choir just popping up in a random hallway like this, yes. like the reason we had to move. But then there's so many other things going on as well. Um, on the keynote that Charles did, they had the capital real letters on stage MPPC in white. Yeah. And at the end of his keynote, he takes out a pen and he goes out and he signs on he makes him write something on one of the letters. I think it's like he said, let's go or something. Yeah. yeah. And then those letters are actually out here in the, you know, downstairs where the expo hall is for everyone to go write. Yeah. So we did that earlier yeah. today. We have the pen, the stickers, and you write your little signature yeah. and, a, and a message to the community. That's really fun. Yeah. It's really, yeah, it really, it's, it's really cool. And the thing is, I think they said they're going to bring these back again next year. Oh, and yeah. and then you can actually see where like if you're here like oh remember that time we were here and we signed oh, our that's stuff awesome. I so love it was that. really cool and then talk about seeing friends seeing Steve we saw Neil Benson dressed oh. up like a wacky professor oh he's so amazing so yeah it it did um a marketing stunt just a few months back which took a lot of new pictures for his new website and everything and so he dressed up exactly with the same clothes that he has on all the pictures the red trousers and the you know the yeah, goofy glasses on his forehead it was just you know, Neil's a character. He's just love Neil. It's, well, it's like a grown-up kid, basically. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, And it's so funny to see him walking around here and just having fun. So, And he's not doing a lot of sessions. He's just connecting to the community, going yeah. to all the meetups and all the community groups. And we use uh, the Whova app that we're yeah. all referring to, where we have all the agendas and everything. The amount of community groups and meetups. And so it's... Amazing. I think we could spend the whole, you know, whole week just going to those kinds of yeah. things. We could fill our whole calendar with that. And it's and we're just like kind of day one of the conference. We have two more days of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't <laughs> wait. I just, oh, yeah, no, this is great. And meeting so many new people. And for me also, I haven't been MVP that long. So, uh, but I also looked at all the superstars on social media for the last, you know, five years. And now I get to see them in person and meet them and to connect. And I just love that. So, um, oh, this has been awesome so far. Yeah. So cool. Are we going to, we'll probably wrap it up for today, but we'll be back again tomorrow. Yeah, with... there's an attendee party going on. Uh, we're going to a concert. There's a lot of things to do here in Vegas. We won't, be, we won't be bored anytime soon. So yes, we will do a recap tomorrow as well. You'll know, learn all the, about all the things that we're up to. Yeah. And if, if you see us walking, if you're here and you're seeing us walking around, definitely uh, get a sticker off us, say hi. Yeah. Give, say hi to us. Like we're excited. To, and and then tell your friends that, hey, you know, the Power Platform Boost, they're doing podcast recaps. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And you'll hear more from us tomorrow. All right. Have fun.